Peace to everybody. Uh, this is about Jussie Smollett walked past on Sundario before attack. Yet, there was no violence. And of course, I'm not going to play this video because they could be petty as hell. And I know how TMZ are. They will block you in a heartbeat for playing their videos. 10.46 a.m. Pacific Time. Jussie's camp says the new footage is edited together and doesn't have a timestamp that point out at no time do you see them on camera passing each other yeah so that's what happened and these are all the messages that people have been leaving on the um comments part jussie smollett and the sundario brothers had multiple close encounters all caught on camera before the alleged attack went down but the outcome of those encounters is puzzling. Yes, yeah, so Jesse and the son Dario brothers had multiple close encounters. It was all caught on camera, of course. Um, and of course, the outcome of the encounters is puzzling at all means. The video first found by Matt Finn of Fox News shows the icy street near Jesse's apartment building sometime in the hour prior to the 2 a.m. attack on January 29th. First, the brothers are seen walking side by side down the street. At one point, they pass in under a street light and you can see one of them wearing a red hat. All right, so the first was the uh, some Dario brothers who were seen walking side by side down the street. Okay, so we get that out. So we get that point but at the point they pass under a street light and one of them was wearing a red hat a short time later jossie is seen walking in the opposite direction north on the same block heading in the direction of the subway restaurant for some reason he's walking down the middle of the street and not on the sidewalk okay so he, yeah so a short time later jossie was seen walking down the opposite way so to avoid the Sandario brothers he he was walking down the middle of the street and not on the sidewalk so because you know the sidewalks get icy during the winter time and of course you got to find the alternative by um walking in the street where there's hardly any ice if there is ice it's covered in snow but if that doesn't help you doesn't stop you from slipping nothing will there is no one else seen on the street at all so yeah so there was nobody else left on the street but them three there's also a video captured in a loading dock that shows the brothers walking past and then 25 seconds later jossie walks past the same loading dock but again he's heading in the opposite direction with no one else on the street it's virtually impossible the three men didn't see each other so yeah the, so the sundario brothers and jossie smollett they didn't see each other for because they were walking past each other and of course um it was a 25 seconds later later that jossie walks past the same loading dock where the um the sundario brothers had walked past What's strange is if Abel and Ola Osandario intended to legitimately attack Jesse, they had at least two opportunities prior to 2 a.m. Why would they wait and wander the streets on a night when the temperature was around hovering at or just above zero? And so why would the Osandario brothers be wandering around at that time? They had two opportunities. And they didn't even do it. So, whoever attacked Jossie Smollett were the real people that did it. And, of course, you know, when it comes to Jossie Smollett, yeah, he didn't stage these attacks like the Chicago Police Department are saying. The Chicago Police Department had covered that up. The real truth, they wrote it on the report, well, this was a staged attack. No, it wasn't. Because if that was the case, then why is Jussie Smollett making police reports and having open investigations 
Then on top of that, had his um, charges um, dropped, records sealed. Then the judge unsealed the records to get the um, charges and everything else because people were, were really mad. Joe Sandario's attorney told Fox News the brothers had arrived early, and the video shows them milling around, killing time before the hoax attack was allegedly planned to happen. So yeah, so the Sandario brothers, they were just milling around, killing time before the fake attack. So I guess, you know... I mean, I get so tired of the Chicago Police Department lying. The TMZ, I know they're lying, definitely. You can't trust them. The mainstream media lies. They twist words around. So whatever, I mean, what is going on with these? Oh, and of course, here's in the video, I'm not going to play it. It's the Sandario Brothers buying stuff and everything. By the way. The red hat one of the brothers was wearing is significant because they were seen on surveillance video one day earlier buying items for the alleged attack, and those items included a red colored hat. Yeah, so as you can see here, the, the Sandario brothers had um was buying some stuff for. For the alleged attack that never really happened by the Osandario brothers. Because there was two other people that were wearing masks. And these two were not the ones. If they were, then they should have been in jail. They should have stayed in jail with no bail. But no. Instead, the Chicago Police Department wants to take everything in a whole new direction. Oh, Jossie Smollett staged his own attack. Jossie Smollett paid this guy off. Paid that guy off. That's a damn lie right there. Then, of course, the city of Chicago. They want to sue Jussie Smollett that he owes $130,000 plus another $130,000. So that's $390,000 altogether. Really now? Come on. Where is Jussie's not going to pay the city of Chicago that kind of money? He forfeited over $10,000 bond. That was good enough. And it had two days worth of community service. That's all it was. And now the judge is trying everything he can to get Jossie Smollett into jail. Come on, you think that's ever going to happen? No, because Jossie Smollett maintains his innocence and there's nothing anybody could do about it. Leave your comments below. I am out.